Hey everyone, welcome back to Good Time Holler. My name is Ariel, if you're new. Welcome to our channel, I hope you like it. I wanted to talk today about something that comes up quite often actually in conversation with friends or on comments and stuff. People are always talking about, oh I can't grow plants, you do it so good, how do you do it? And <laughs> this was kind of a perfect opportunity to show you guys that I'm just a human too. Hang on, it's so bright out here. I just bought this new hat, so I'm gonna try it out real quick. Hopefully this doesn't fall, because my tripod is a little bit iffy. It's old and keeps wanting to fall apart on me. But I got so sunburnt the last few days, like over Easter weekend, I was so burnt. My arms hurt anytime I got anywhere near the sun and I had like blisters across my forehead and my arms like from here down like the farmer's tan because I had a t-shirt on and my arms were all blistered and my forehead thank goodness for aloe I love aloe it's like a lifesaver when it comes to my sunburns how do I look guys <laughs> I like never wear hats like this but I feel like the older I get, the more burnt I get, and you know, I've had family with skin cancer, so I, I need to make sure I protect myself a little better whenever I'm outside. I don't even realize like how bad the sun gets to me until it's too late. So I, I got me a hat, Jay told me to get one. I wanted to talk about how I've had so many encounters with people and I am no like expert gardener although I feel like sometimes people think maybe I am although I feel like some people may think that I am and that is like very very far from it I've been gardening for seven or eight years now and <laughs> I still kill plants I'm no perfectionist. I am no perfect person. I don't think there is any perfect person out there. Some plants make it, some plants don't. My secret is I plant more than I need. <laughs> That's the secret, plant more than you need. This was kind of like a perfect opportunity to address this so that people realize, hey, it's okay. It's okay for plants to die. It's okay to you know make a mistake or over water under water set them outside on a really nice sunny day and forget to bring them in like I did <sighs> I'm kind of sad actually because I started a bunch of seeds I wasn't planning on planting out as many as I did but Jay and I really wanted to have extra to be able to put into our farm stand this year and um, share with the community rather than just for ourselves. And last year we had like a ton of tomatoes to share, but we wanted the opportunity to share more than just tomatoes. So we planted a lot more. And I mean, those who have gardened or those who have thought about gardening, seeds are way cheaper than buying an already started plant. And I'm not opposed to buying started plants because you know, somebody already did all of that hard work for me but starting the plants is much cheaper especially whenever we're trying to garden on such a large scale and we have a 1600 square foot garden to fill up and we're making brand new beds because it seems like our soil around here just isn't the greatest so we're doing beds to one combat weeds but two to bring in a good opportunity for soil in the beds to be able to plant in because we're on a hill so every time we bring in soil it just washes down the hill so in the beds it's contained and it can't go anywhere so that's the reason why we're choosing to make beds but i'm a little sad because i may have just killed like most of my plants <laughs> i brought them out here because yesterday was pushing 70 degrees and I have them inside the house under lights but they were getting to a little bit leggy certain plants were getting a little leggy and it was just so nice out so I was like oh my gosh perfect opportunity to bring them outside
We just cut these trees down the other day and then had a storm that came through really close. There was two tornadoes that just hit right down the road from us. I'm so thankful because this one was actually hanging way over the house. I really need to clean up my garden. It's becoming a mess. It has been a mess. It's about time to start pulling everything out and fixing it all up. We're actually making these new garden beds and I'll show you guys how we're making those in another video. I got so busy and starting seeds is like a new schedule that you have to put yourself into and I've been out of that schedule all winter long and so <laughs> if I don't remember it like if I don't maybe set an alarm or you know until I get into the gist of things I cannot remember that I need to bring the plants back inside and that's exactly what happened. I just got so busy and completely forgot. And then I woke up this morning and I remembered because my shelf for the plants was empty. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. Because I had already gotten into the routine of turning the plant lights on. I do have a timer, so sometimes I set them on the timer, but because I just started the whole gardening process. I wanted to get that schedule in my brain, so I wasn't using the timer. I was actually getting up every morning and turning the lights on, checking the water, making sure the plant's light wasn't too high up or too far down. So when I got up this morning and realized that the plant shelf was empty, it was like, <sighs> because that was like, let's see, 280 times, three trays <laughs> and then like 70 something 72 times the other two trays so I mean quite a few quite a few plants you guys are gonna blow away it is so windy I'm really sorry for um, all of the the wind noises I can't really help that I don't have any kind of specialty microphone or anything so I apologize if you guys can't stand the wind so I just wanted to kind of explain, it's okay. It's okay if your plants die, just start more. You know, don't give up on something. If you wanna be a gardener, then just keep trying. The more you try and the more you learn about it, the better you're going to get, just like everything else. I won't say and I don't ever say practice makes perfect because no one in this world is perfect. Honestly, no one is. And that's okay. We're just humans. We make mistakes. Plants die. <laughs> you know, so it happens. I, I've actually spent a few, I've had a few years where I planted more than I had time to come out and actually, well, I started more plants than I actually had the time to come out and put into the ground. And I felt so bad because I just left them in the seed trays. They just sat there all year long in the seed trays. And that's okay. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you just don't have the time to put them all in. Sometimes other things happen. Those who want to garden and say, I can't garden, I don't know how to garden. What if I'm doing it wrong? Just, I encourage you to continue to try. You know, grab you a couple of uh, gardening books or read a few articles on how to garden whatever it is you're trying to garden. There are some plants that are super easy to grow and then there are other plants that are like super hard. So like starting from seeds, I would say tomatoes are fairly easy because even when they get leggy, they can be just planted deeper because they have they have these furry pieces that you would see along their stem and those all will turn into roots so they will reroot themselves so you can just plant them deep and they'll just keep going and actually it's a good thing to plant them deep so that they you know they can get a really good thick stem and be a strong plant for you later in the season 
one that I would say is probably a hard one to plant and start from seed is peppers. You would think because tomatoes and peppers, you know, they grow the same, they kind of look the same when they get started. They kind of both need similar temperatures to get started. You would think, oh, well, they're probably pretty easy too. I will say those ones are the ones I have the absolute hardest time getting started because they need more heat and honestly, I don't know. Something, something about them just kind of doesn't work for me. I have such a hard time getting pepper plants started and that's another thing that makes me a little bit sad about losing these ones. Hopefully they come back. Hopefully they come back. But I did get quite a few peppers started this time around that actually came up and although my bell peppers didn't, I don't think any of my bell peppers started, but I had quite a few jalapenos and jalapenos started and we eat a lot of jalapenos <laughs> like a lot guys it's like our favorite summertime snack i don't know if you guys know what armadillo eggs are but they're so good you take a jalapeno and you slice it and take out all the seeds and then you fill it with cream cheese and wrap it in bacon and then grill it mm. so good so good but i just wanted to get on here and chat with you guys because it's been a minute and I just wanted to encourage those who are worried that they're not going to be able to grow the plants or are worried that because the plants die, they're not. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but. <laughs> I picked up one of our old potato bags and the wind had blown it down the hill a little bit in the garden and I picked it up and I was talking to you guys so I was not <clears throat> aware that it was covered in ants and the ants were all over me. They were just everywhere. All over my hair, all over my hat, all over my clothes. They went down my shirt. Oh, scared me. I didn't realize what it was at first. I hope I got them off because they were everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not afraid of ants. Just, just to clarify that, I just um, was not expecting thousands of ants to be crawling on me while I'm talking. Um, <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to encourage those who are afraid to take the leap to garden or afraid that they're going to fail in gardening to just start some seeds or just go buy a few plants. If you're going to start seeds, start more than you think you're actually going to need because, you know, if if they all grow great, you have more plants than you need. And they're really they're pretty cheap. You know, you could get a pack of 25 plus seeds for like a dollar. Now, there are more expensive seeds and um, high-priced varieties and stuff. So I wouldn't suggest starting out with something like that, but maybe start something, start with something that you're gonna eat. If you eat tomatoes, then start a few tomato plants. If you like to eat potatoes and onions, those are like a huge staple in my house, then get go buy some sets or you can start the onions from seed. I've had a harder time starting onions from seed, but I know some people do really well with them. Sorry. Sorry, I keep I keep feeling like everything. You know how something gets on you and then all of a sudden it just kind of everything tickles and stuff. And so it just feels like there's always more on you. Well, PTSD from the ants being all over me, I guess. <laughs> The dogwoods are all blooming out and they're so pretty. <laughs> oh goodness. It's a beautiful day today actually. It was, it's this weather. We're in Arkansas and our weather is crazy. Pretty sure it's drunk most of the time. We go from 80 degrees to 20 degrees to 80 degrees. That's why planting spring plants <laughs> doesn't do so well around here because they need a long period of 
cooler temperatures and around here it's like oh today we're gonna be really nice and cool so you know you you might want to plant your plants and then it'll change like three days later and be summer scald all of your plants it's terrible I can't seem to get sweet peas to grow I think I'm gonna try them this fall look how beautiful this iris is it's not fully open yet but look at that so pretty we actually planted this here a couple of years ago and I forgot what I planted and this is its first year to bloom it's so shimmery it has like this slightly purple tint to the edge here and then it fades to that yellow super neat I'm loving it none of our other irises grew this year for some reason gardening is supposed to be therapeutic so let it be that even if stuff die it's fine it's fine just start some other stuff and enjoy the outside time and getting your hands into the ground and listening to the beautiful birds and feeling the sun on your skin it's worth it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.